to your love reading for September. All right, so this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well, as they may resonate better for you in a love reading than your Sun sign. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Aquarius out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. If it doesn't resonate, just check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. If it does resonate, I'd love to hear your stories in the comments. Um, thank you to everyone that has subscribed. You guys are amazing. I love you. If you have not yet done so, please consider doing it. I would be super grateful. All right, here we go, guys. Overall energy for Aquarius. Oh, beautiful. The Empress. I will show these to you guys again um, as I read them, okay? Hold on one second. I need a drink because I'm losing my voice. Okay. Recent past. Two of Pentacles reversed. Present energy for Aquarius. Oh, the Magician Reverse. I feel like you guys might have had that in your last reading. I don't know, though. Immediate Future for Aquarius. Queen of Wands Reverse. Oh, what are you hoping for, Aquarius? What is Aquarius hoping for in love? Nine of Swords reverse. So already, guys, this is going to be for those of you going through some shit. All right. Potential obstacle for Aquarius. Two of Swords reversed. Two twos, both reversed. What are you hoping for? Not what are you hoping for. We did that already. Sorry, guys. What are you afraid of, Aquarius? What is Aquarius afraid of in love in September? What? Ten of Pentacles, why? Why are you afraid of that? <laughs> Advice for Aquarius in love in September. Oh, guys. The Five of Cups. Okay. Whoa. Let's not catch the cards on fire. All right. Here we go, guys. So for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. That would be you. So the overall energy would be the energy that you yourself are taking on during this month. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you, them, outside influences, whatever. Okay? All right. So your energy, Aquarius, you have the Empress energy. Um, so you really yourself could not be better. Um the Empress is all about growth, expansion. You could be pregnant. You could have gotten somebody pregnant. You could want to be. Um, either way, though, if it's not, you know, physical fertility, it's just all around fertility, abundance. It's divine feminine energy. So you could be in your divine feminine energy. You could be seeking out someone who is, right? Um, the Empress is the queen of queens. It has all the qualities of all of the queens in the deck at, at the top of her game, right? But it's also about planting seeds. So there is a gestation period here, you know, like there is with pregnancy. So it's planting seeds. It's watching them grow. It's expanding. Um, you guys, honestly, you couldn't be in a better energy. So I don't think that we need to clarify her, but let's just see what else you have going on in your overall energy. Overall energy for Aquarius. Two of Pentacles reverse, and that's actually your very next card too. So with the Two of Pentacles reverse, it's making a decision. If you were previously torn between two people, you are making a decision on them or they with you, but this is your energy. So um, watch out though, if if you are involved with more than one person, and I don't I don't even mean this as you know as anything bad, whatever you know, do what you want. Just watch watch out for it getting to be overwhelming. You know what I mean? Like, 
that can be overwhelming and you know it could tire you out and some things could get dropped so watch out for throwing yourself out of balance here um and also just know that there's a decision here um that you either just made or you need to make and you're about to um i think you already did though because here in your recent past you have the two of pentacles again this is earth virgators capricorn same thing making a decision maybe if you were juggling two people or they you somebody got dropped because it just got to be too overwhelming to you know just it just got to be too much basically got to be too heavy too much responsibility um now here's where it's a little worrisome you have the magician in your present and I, before i even speak on that i'm going to clarify them okay Clarify the Magician reversed for Aquarius. Hmm. Okay. The Ten of Swords. Um, here's the thing, guys. The Ten of Swords is all about despair, defeat, um, hurt. It's air energy, so it's you as well as Gemini and Libra, but... With the Magician reversed here, somebody is being very manipulative because they're extremely hurt. So if you recently dropped somebody for somebody else or just decided I'm not going to date a bunch of people, I'm just going to narrow it down to one, or maybe you got somebody pregnant and you were dealing with another person, whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, no judgment, but somebody here is extremely hurt and it's causing them to be extremely manipulative and if they are somebody that is into magic, I would throw up your shields do what you need to do to protect yourself because somebody when somebody is that hurt you know they can kind of go off the deep end and do some really really crazy shit all right let's clarify this ten of swords clarify the ten of swords it can also be just the lack of manifestation because there's there's some hurt that needs healed but I don't think that that's you with your Empress energy up here being, you know, all, all about growth and fertility and abundance. You're not having trouble manifesting. So somebody here is doing some weird shit. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Aquarius. The Five of Swords. Yeah, watch out for, you know, somebody talking shit. Somebody talking a whole lot of shit on you. That This is a lot of harsh communication. Um name calling just a drama just petty back and forth drama and again if you if you're involved with people that are involved with magic that I have absolutely nothing against it's it's pretty much my whole life but again when somebody is in that hurt place it can cause them to do some crazy shit and they are in that place um, so they might just be out there like spreading lies about you, talking trash. Um, you know, watch out for that and don't engage and protect yourself, okay? All right, moving on. In your future, the Queen of Wands reversed. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this can be anyone taking on this energy though, but the Queen of Wands reversed. Did I say swords before? I hope not. Anyway, Queen of Wands reversed. So this is a very controlling, demanding person. They don't really care who they have to hurt to get what they want. They're just going to go get it. And it's kind of, you know, what they want is kind of all that matters to them. All right. They can be narcissistic. Again, I see you are dealing with somebody who is off their damn rocker right now because they're hurt and they're lashing out. So be aware. Clarify the Queen of Wands reverse for Aquarius. Yep, that's too many. Clarify the Queen of Wands reverse for Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so here's the thing. This is such a pretty card. I don't know if I noticed how pretty it was before or not, but it really is. Look at her. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, though, so Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, it's all about commitment. It's all about commitment and it's all about money. Um, okay, so somebody might be trying to force a commitment 
or you know somebody might just be real pissed off that you're committed to someone else um it's also with the queen of wands reverse there in the ten of pentacles it can be somebody who's you know kind of like a gold digger like <laughs> they need those 10 pentacles and they don't care what they have to do to get it um but really i think it's somebody who's just real pissed off that you didn't pick them and you pick someone else and they're really trying to fuck up your whole situation all right okay now your hope is the nine of swords reverse this is air so you guys as well as libra and gemini you're hoping to get rid of the anxiety get rid of the depression you're hoping to actually get some sleep at night and not have to worry about this crazy shit. right your potential obstacle the two of swords reverse more air you guys as well as gemini and libra again it's a decision the obstacle is the decision um, so either, you know, you're stuck on it, which I don't, I don't really think so, but you, you know, you still could be, um, I don't think so though. I think you made the decision and that just really, somebody really just went off the freaking deep end when you decided that you weren't going to be with them, you know, um, it's crazy. All right. What are you afraid of? The 10 of pentacles. And this is what I mean, like you have that Ten of Pentacles in the future, but it's with that Queen of Wands reverse. So maybe you're afraid of this whole commitment thing because of the crazy that you're dealing with. Um, or maybe, you know, you're afraid that somebody's going to try to take your money. Somebody's going to, you know, manipulate you out of your money or something. Hmm. I'm going to clarify that. All right, let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles as a fear. Are you afraid to commit, guys? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Okay, so here. You might be a little afraid to commit because you don't... You're kind of in this, like, indifferent kind of place. You might be just a little bit indifferent about your options or you're just kind of like, whatever, whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, kind of bored, honestly, just kind of like apathetic and just not really giving a shit. So, and I think it's, it's, there might be some underlying fear of commitment there. All right. Advice. The five of cups, guys. So it's water, energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I don't think the signs are relevant in the advice position, but if it means something to you, then cool. With the five of cups being an advice card, it's, don't focus so much on things that have already happened that you can't change. All right, this is guilt. It's remorse. It's feeling like shit about things that happened already and they're done. They're over with. Nobody can change them now. But, you know, if this dude would just get up and stop looking at these spilled cups, he would see that there's still two full ones back here. All is not lost, right? So focus on what you still have and not what you've lost in any situation, whatever that is. Let's clarify the Five of Cups. Hmm. The Three of Pentacles reverse. So, yeah, there might have been a third party situation that's ended, and there's, you know, a bit of guilt, remorse, or loss felt there. Um, can also be just an energy of not working together not you know not there's no teamwork um but it is time to stop focusing on that stop focusing on the things that went wrong and stand up and turn around and look at the things that you still have in front of you okay all right take care Aquarius love you guys